This morning, a criminal case against the president's son moving full steam ahead. Newly tapped special counsel David Weiss revealing prosecutors intend to seek federal charges against Hunter Biden by the end of this month, potentially setting the stage for a trial in the midst of his father's re-election bid. The precise charges are unclear, but this comes after Hunter Biden's legal team and the Justice Department failed to close a plea deal over the summer that would have allowed him to avoid prison time. The government was up against a clock. It had to charge within a certain amount of time. Prosecutors had accused Hunter Biden of illegally buying a gun while using drugs and failing to pay his taxes on time. But once a judge questioned the deal, Biden pled not guilty. It's possible now, since the plea agreement has collapsed, that Mr. Biden could be charged with more serious offenses. Biden's attorneys say their client is upholding his end of the deal to avoid prison on at least the gun charge, arguing in a statement the agreement prevents any additional charges from being filed. If two parties make an agreement and sign the agreement and submit the agreement and in open court say they have an agreement, then they have an agreement. The president has tried to distance himself from the criminal allegations against Hunter, but has also defended his son when asked. Well, my son's done nothing wrong. Republicans on Capitol Hill, meanwhile, underwhelmed by news of an indictment. He's just going to get a slap on the wrist from the judge. And so the GOP investigations press on, focused on Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings, trying to connect the president to some alleged wrongdoing by his son. Investigating the Bidens is like tracking a bleeding bear through a snowstorm. There's evidence everywhere. A former business associate of Hunter Biden recently told lawmakers that he believed Hunter provided an illusion of access to his father, but he had no knowledge of any wrongdoing by the then vice president.